on all of them, right? I think we got it. I think because of all the menace, we got it. Oh, Lucky draws off the end. Menace. Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do, you'll be entered in to win a complete rare playset to the D&D expansion and up to 500,000 gems. Check out the Discord to learn more about that. Available in the Linktree link. Description below. Easily give it a Google. Hello, good game Linktree, and I'm sure it will come up. Today, we have a turn three, one turn kill deck with dice. We're going infinite with the dice, hopefully. Um, so this is really cool. Uh, Delina Wild Mage going absolutely crazy, copying Magda Brazen Outlaw, ideally, but at the end of the day, copy whatever you can, right? So a very cool deck. We're going to be breaking down the strategies, the synergies. Um, this is a standard 2022 deck as well. Then we're going to showcase all of that in today's gameplay footage, wrapping up with our final thoughts and deck review. So buckle up. Like I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel, support by becoming a Patreon, you know, YouTube member, or even on Twitch. We're there every day as well. So with that being said, you know, thank you so much. Let's get into it. All righty. Turn three, uh, one turn kill or OTK is a standard 2022 best of one uh 1.7 average mana value deck with 23 non-creatures and 13 creatures 24 uh land which might be a little heavy we could probably trim that down um but at the end of the day who wants to brick definitely not me uh we do have ramp within the deck as well which is maybe more reason to trim some land, but that's something that we can work on in the future versions because, um, you know, for now, this is working. Um, but again, we're always looking uh, to improve the deck if we can. So the main strategy and synergy here is the Wild Mage. For four mana, it's a 3-2, and whenever it attacks, choose a target creature you control, then roll a d20. 1 to 14, create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of target uh, or that creature, except it's not a legendary and has exile this creature at the end of combat. If you roll 15 or higher, create one of those tokens and then roll again, which is really cool. So what we want to be doing is rolling 15 or higher every time. We can increase the chances of this roll through barbarian class. Whenever you'd roll one dice, roll a second, keep the highest of the two, right? So that's going to basically double our chances, which is really, really good. And, uh, you know, I know what you're saying. This is a four mana. How, you're doing, how are you doing this on turn three? There's no haste here. Um, so we're ramping into it, right? We have uh, turn one, Sentinel, a one, two with reach. We can tap another creature to create a mana. And then, you know, that's really good. So we have turn two, Outlaw, a two, one. Dwarfs you control get plus one, plus zero. This is key to the deck because we'll be copying the Outlaw ideally making a bunch of copies of them, and then the plus one, plus zero will stack on each of them, which is really, really quite uh, a lot of fun. Whenever a dwarf is tapped, uh, you'll also create a treasure token, which is really, really good. And then you can sacrifice treasures to search your library for an artifact or a dragon card, putting it into the battlefield, uh, and then shuffling, which is a possibility to pull out our lovely star mounts, a 6-6 six, six for six, five treasures really flying haste can't be countered you can sink your mana into it uh which we're not really doing in this deck it's just awesome to be able to pull it if you want to utilize those treasures to make sure that there is some way to take advantage of that value that you'll be generating um so you know turn one sentinel turn two outlaw at which point you'll use the sentinel to tap the outlaw generating a red mana this will allow you to play barbarian class this will also generate a treasure through the outlaw being tapped as it is a dwarf. Perfect. Turn three, you have four available mana because of the treasure. This will allow you to play the mage, but no, no, not just yet. You want to give it haste first. So um, we may need to play the mage first and then kick, on, uh, kick in the door on top of it. Again, we'll have the four available mana, play the mage, at which point you have the sentinel to tap Magda to give kick on the door uh, to the wild mage. This will also open up uh, mana potentially for crash through to give it trample, which is really nice, but that's asking a lot. Uh, we have uh, ways to go around it organically. Um, so this allows you to attack on turn three with your wild mage. Uh, of course, 
you can use the first day of class as well. It's at, at instant speed, but you'll be still casting it at sorcery speed before you play uh, your next creature this turn. Um, and you'll learn, which is pretty cool. So, you know, we've got the sciences, a little bit of extra damage, artifact removal, find a creature, gain some life, uh, which is nice. Um, you know, artifact enchantment removal, um, plus one, plus one counters, vigilance, uh, scry and draw, and the uh, exhibition, which is really nice for the uh, tokens that you'll make that counter um, <clears throat> the creatures to fill up the field. So, you know, the learn is not a main part of the deck, but it's a little bit of extra value that you can take advantage of. Um, and again, the same thing goes where you cast the first day of class, at which point, you know, the next creature that enters the play is going to have haste. And then you sentinel on the outlaw that generates two more mana. Uh, and then the wild mage can come in. So a total of five mana is being spent on your turn three, no matter what. Um, well, actually, I guess it could be one less. It could be four mana. Um, but nonetheless, that will allow the wild mage to start attacking. And then you're copying the outlaw. You roll 15 or above a couple times, you know, because it's a 2-1. Um, and dwarves get plus 1, plus 0. So they're going to plus 1 each other, and that'll all stack up. So it doesn't take much to have these dwarves become, you know, 5-5, five, five, or I guess 5-1s, 7-1s, uh, which is really cool. And um, so that's the turn three version right your opponent's probably not set up there with blockers you just go wide you go around them like i said there's also the option for trample if they have one blocker and you do have this then you just give the one uh that's being blocked trample if you do this on turn four right let's say it doesn't line up perfectly for turn three um and while we are doing all this we have protection available with that mana that's just sitting there so at any point if our opponent has single target removal boom snakes can veil uh hex proof Boom, wild shape, hex proof. That's gonna save us and the dream lives on, right? Um, but like I said, if it goes on to turn four, goes on to turn five, then we have barbarian class level two. Whenever we roll um, plus two, plus zero and menace on a creature. So each different token that we create can grab plus two, plus zero and menace, making them nearly unblockable and stronger which is very 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 cool and uh, of course you know if this goes on long enough for an additional three creatures we control have haste right so we don't have to combo in with spells they'll just always have haste as long as that's in play right so it's a very easy to play deck um you know it's just going to rely on the shuffler being kind to you and your opponent not having a lot of removal uh handy even though you have a ton of protection from it it's just getting the stars to align. This is uh, an amazingly aggressive deck. It seriously pops off, and I um, really like the Wild Mage. Uh, this is a cutie patootie, and we do have the creature lands in the library as well. Um, you know, if we do run into a field wipe, and you know, eventually the star mounts can just come in and deal a bunch of damage as well. So that's the deck. I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna jump into the gameplay footage and showcase all of uh, that theory that we just kind of learned about the deck, so you guys see exactly how it works out for you uh, in the Mythic Meta Standard 2022. So enjoy, have a magical day, and we'll see you soon after the gameplay footage to wrap up with our final thoughts, deck review, and just general community news. Enjoy. Bye, golly. Look at this land. Mulligan. Okay. Sure. Keeping six. Tossing an outlaw we have two copies of. Showing our love to the opponents. And it is a turn one sentinel. Turn two outlaw. And then we're just throwing into the barbarian class for haste. And we will draw our beloved wild mage. Hopefully. Or we go right for it. Actually, cancel. Uh, this needs to be a red source. And let's tap this. And then we'll just spend the red source on the Barbarian class. And then we still have Snakeskin Veil if we need. If not, we still just wrap uh, a little bit more effectively there. We have protection if we can just... Draw that perfect card. <laughs> Wild Mage off the top. That's what dreams are made out of.
we get one step closer. We're still so far away. But we're going to do our best. We have no haste right now. Make those treasures. Play our beloved creature. And I don't want to sink them both in because I want to hold up the snakeskin veil. So we leave the class as is. Next turn we can sink into it. We're close. That Righteous Valkyrie is really good though. Oh man. It is not bad. Hit for two, you have Menace. I mean, not that I want their life total to be higher. And we have to get very lucky here because we don't have Trample. <laughs> or do we? This is what dreams are made out of, people. We sink in. And, uh... We should just go all in. Right? And we're gonna get so... Many dwarfs. Just 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh, a 1 and a 5. Oh my god. After all of that, that's all we get. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. Um, Menace definitely on the mage. Right? We don't want the mage to die. <laughs> Cheese and crepes. A one and a five, you guys. <laughs> By golly. So. We're still pretty screwed. Should we just draw the card now? Kick in the doors. Sorcery speed doesn't save us. We're losing the outlaw. Which is really quite sad. But I'm still going to kill this Valkyrie. I'm going to sack the protection that we had. Kill the Valk. The Valk would have died organically if we didn't roll like absolute trash. That was a perfect setup, and then just like, no. <laughs> oh, man. There's no way you have uh, luck that bad. We can still cast this, and it looks like that spends the majority of their turn. I love the land, man. <laughs> So, we'd be a 3-3. Three, three. And we get to venture, though. The venture could be good. I need to set up that next turn, like, super bad. Get out of here, land. Man... I don't know if I want to trade with this thing. I really like my wild mage, but they have more removal. Like, they're just going to exile it. I can't attack into death. The Sentinel goes in, now there's no reach to defend, it incentivizes them to swing in with the Spellbinder, and that opens up our attack lane. Uh oh!
That's not great. It's not good. I mean, there is a world in which we just roll 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. But we're losing our wild mage after this. And it's like when they've attacked and have over 15, so they'd be gaining 4, 7. Um, you know, that doesn't put them over the total, but they could gain more life somehow. Do we go for it? Or do we just try to take one more draw? Go for it. Try to rely on one more draw. Because this thing's going to super kill us. We would have to roll, um, you know, because the token doesn't get copied, right? It's a, a 3, 2. So we'd have to roll a 15 or higher. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Six times we'd have to roll 15 or higher. Is it worth the risk? Oh, less than that, though, because we have the menace. Okay, so we just have menace. That's great. That's great. That's so good. 17, perfect. Definitely take action. And now the rolls should just go... Ooh, that's sad. <laughs> menace on the original copy. Um, I guess menace on these would be best as well. Well, we got one good roll. <laughs> it would be cool if these copies forced the roll as well. Even look at that. We got him down to six. So that's not bad. Right? We're doing the do. Just bad luck on rolls. Really, really terrible luck there. They gain a ton of life. They have decent blockers. And we should trade with this, right? Just like, get it out of there. Get out of here. Alright. <clears throat> Trample. Magda. We might get this. Does everybody attack? That's the question. I think so. This is our last stand, right? I don't think it copies the trample. So we should really copy the outlaw. I'm pretty sure. A 14. That's not going to do it, is it? Or it does. And we'll give... Uh, ooh, I don't even know. I guess we'll give this menace too. It's important. Bad rolls, right? I think we needed 15 or higher. Yeah. Man, just getting punished here. So, they don't have life gain on defense. We should have put the trample elsewhere. Because they have three blockers, we only deal six damage. We should have put the trample on something else. No, because then the trample could have been blocked with the angel. Interesting. We do have 7 damage if they don't block anything but the mage. So they block everything else. The sentinel dies. The devourer dies. Um, our magda dies. They're down to 1. We exile magda. Hey. You know, we tried our best and we got to showcase what we're looking to do multiple times. Um, was the roll good enough? This match? No. Is it going to be that bad every match? Also no. There's matches where you're going to roll 15 and above, you know, multiple times in a row, uh, and you're just going to cheese your opponent. Um, hard to pull off? Yes. Impossible? No. Um, and still relatively competitive, as long as you can get things lined up. The Pyre of Heroes here uh, might put us in an uh, infinite loop of death. <laughs> you know, here comes a Valkyrie. <laughs> right, just Valkyrie. Right, just Valkyrie. <laughs> it's uh, a good card, right?
They have lots of defenders. Mm. Yeah, and they gain, you know, just so much life here. Disgusting amount. And would you look at that? Another land right off the top. Just what we wanted. Is it time for the god roll? I mean... It's gonna have to be. A 16? Okay, okay, okay. 20? A 15? Okay, okay. A 15? Oh, it's finally going! We need more 15s. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20. No, just a 10! No! On the original, plus two and menace. It has to go on all of them, right? I think we got it. I think because of all the menace, we got it. Oh, lucky draws off the end. Menace absolutely saves us. <laughs> we struggled so hard that entire match. Um, but we have like 21 menace damage, which is pretty crazy. Um, so that's that's lethal no matter what, right? That is straight up I Carumbas. It really is. I'm happy to have gotten it, to showcase it a little bit, and, um, yeah. It's cool when you do it on Magda because all the dwarfs buff one another, right? You also make a bunch of treasures that way, which is really cool, but at the end of the day, do what you've got to do, you know? Copy anything you can. <laughs> okay, this is pretty bad. We'll mulligan it. We have, uh, still a pretty bad hand. All getting this. It just doesn't get better. Let's toss the door, keep the land, use class as haste. It's a little expensive, but by the looks of things, we'll have time, right? We're not in a hurry. And watch, just nothing but land. <laughs> oh no. Arena is being cruel to me in the last couple days. I get it with this deck, you know. This is the world's most janked out deck. Um, and just like that, we have haste. Jeez Louise. <laughs> oh my gosh. I promise the deck does work though. You know, as you get into it with some theory... Uh, it's there. And I mean, stacking these is ridiculous. Right? So, we have the ability just to burst out and deal mass amounts of damage. Uh, just like, right away. Right, we can even, because she has haste, copy herself. But look at all of these freaking lands. Don't think we've drawn anything but a land. No joke. Every card we've drawn has been a land. Oh, we got that second Barbarian class. Hooray. <laughs> Holy moly. Field trip. So they're basically taking the turn off as well. Really ramping. Oh my. Oh my. What if we created it into a creature? It comes out tapped. We use that last land to draw. We can do this all on their turn. Isn't like that's sad. That's a little convoluted just to draw a card. Bring out your tapped land, just so you can have a target. <laughs> but if they don't have blockers, the crash through is irrelevant. Right? So we may as well. You can do it, man! What are they doing? Anything for a draw.
And another land after. Oh my gosh, and guaranteed they kept a counter spell. <laughs> I want to go for it so bad. But we know there's something there. There has to be. Just go for it. Just leave her alone. Just leave her alone, man. Continue to leave her alone. She's not to be touched. We could have kept in hand until we had Hexproof, but I actually didn't even think it would touch the field. And it gets bounced if it's already in play, and they take a draw. Have we played a land this turn? No, we did. I didn't think we did. We must have. Alright, well they need to hold up counter magic now. Watch this be the match that I get it to work. Like, the world's, like, the worst opening match and this is the one it works in <laughs> bagged the footage for today boys <laughs> and ladies i hope just like so many ladies right okay so they're gonna destroy the class make a pest we still have the other at least wow this is Really heating up. Outlaw goes out first. And we draw any counter magic. Wild Mage definitely just gets countered this time. Please leave it alone. We're out of mana. Hey, it could be worse. At least she's still in our hand. There's still hope. They're leaving us with hope. <laughs> we make that treasure, and that treasure's also a sign of hope. They have 10 available mana. Heck, they have more than us. They've been rapping, though, a lot. Cyclone Summoner, we lose our haste, which is so sad. That's going to cost 1, 3, 6 mana for haste. And then an additional bunch for an attack. Goodness gracious. So, let's just get the mage out. The outlaw. The class, we hold up the veil. And we pray that there's not another cyclone summoner. Pass our turn. There could even be, you know, just a string of all runs epiphany. We take the damage. Sadly. So, so sadly. Just hang our head. Leave us alone. Don't do it. Just, like, use your app mascots. You jerk. So this is... Hexproof won't protect us because it's non-targeted. Getting beat by my favorite card. Four mana left. And all runs epiphany. That's just great. Good for you. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe it's a counterspell. But, uh... If they're playing with my version of the deck, and it certainly seems to be like they are, uh, you know, maybe they're not, who knows. But, <clears throat> yeah, that's an all runs epiphany. <laughs> Don't do it to us, bro. Just let me do my thing. Nobody wants me to have fun today, you guys. They're just, like, super aggro about it. No combo strikes for HGG. Down to the 90 percentiles you go. Well, we have to block one of these. Ah, 
Ouch. Ouch. And here comes a double turn. Hey, oh, river. Okay. We're going to try a couple more times. I'm not giving up. I'm going to try to get it. Going first with all the cards we need in hand. I think we keep it and we just top deck a mountain right off the top. 13%. All right, it's uh, pretty easy. Believe in the heart of the cards, young one. No, that's really bad. So, uh, oops. <laughs> Three run amucks. Really, bruh? I do like the trample in case there are blockers, but maybe we have too much trample. I might have too much trample. No blocks. We we're really going to need that. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? It was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it. I mean, we had two of the cards we needed. Really the only two cards we needed. We just needed one mountain. And I still believe we can get it here, right? One mountain right off the top. Come on. Are you freaking kidding me? So there's 13 mountains in the deck, right? Um... And we can't seem to, to pick any of them up. Absolutely lovely. For sure we get a mountain off the top. We have bricked so bad. I had to risk it though. What if it went through, right? Then I would have been a legend. <laughs> to myself. And Maya. She knows of my accomplishments. Yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, at least we make it work. At least we make it work. Magda Brazen Outlaw in play off of two forests. Huh? I know. Really, really weird stuff. It's too bad we can't immediately tap her, so they could just remove it. And they, I'm sure they do. They're like, well, why do they want that red source so bad? Or even removing one of the Sentinels. I don't know. Or just everything. Right? Field white! It's bad. I imagine my worst scenario all the time. It's not good. That's a big hit here. No blocks. Down to 13. They hold 2 mana up. If they play, it's 3. Our turn. Is that removal is going to fuck us? It would be cool if it wasn't when the mage attacks. It was like when the mage taps. That could be uh, really good for us. And then we could immediately tap it with a sentinel. Man, that would be sick. It's not. Maybe haste. Maybe we bring some haste into the deck instead of the trample. To make the front end more consistent rather than the back end. The tramples for blockers. But what good are trampled out blockers when you're not attacking yet? Okay, we're going to hit the drawing board a little bit with this deck, you guys. Because we could, we could work haste in here, I'm sure. Is there haste for one? That would be cool. Onyx. No, we have to sack our mage with the minus three. Open your books to page. You jerk. Again, still tapping the outlaw. And that is really what we need is um 
haste. It would be better. I really think so. Because we're using, like, plus effects and trample uh, combined with that, but I'm pretty sure haste is going to make this deck better. So I'll probably record these matches near the end of the video um, for people to see and do some tuned-up versions at the start. They're still going to exile our mage. Oh, it's easy to discard. We have so many run amucks. Just leave my mage alone. Just leave my mage alone. Thank you. You're a kind individual. They've got plenty of blockers, though. Which is like Icarumba. And we don't have the Barbarian class in play. That would make things better. Maybe we can pull it. But. I doubt it. Barbarian class off the top. Oh, it's that mountain. Well, look at you. So whenever it attacks, choose a target creature you control, then roll a d20. Create a tapped and attacking. Um, so we don't even have to attack. Is it the same target? I think we get to pick the target. <clears throat> and we should keep this to tap. For red sources. We only have two. We only need two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, 19 is uh, not good enough. <laughs> um, you know, you want to get a bunch of 20s in a row here. 14 keeps the dream alive. I guess we should smash in on them. And then we see how things land. Maybe we should have went all in on them. I want to kill the professor too, though. So we're putting run amok on the mage, it looks like. And then... Is this getting through? No, this is blocked. So this needs to be uh, run amok as well. Which is great. And then we should probably just trample that because this is going in uh, to them, I believe. On the trample creature. Auto pay. Stack the outlaw. And that's going to be great. It's going to make a bunch of treasures for us. Uh, we're two treasures shy, sadly, but, you know, this is good. And the wild mage is going to survive. The tokens get exiled anyway, so they just make treasures. Um, trying our best. I mean, it definitely didn't pop off to the point where we wanted it to. You see why we have the trample in the deck, even though I think the haste is still a good idea. Ooh, that is the conundrum here, right? Is haste better? And our turn, I mean, we're at 13, that's not great. Um, and they definitely exile the wild mage, right? They've seen it, there's no way it survives. We have eight protection spells, right? We have four snake skins. I'm going to lose life. Down to 10. I don't necessarily want to discard the outlaw in case they remove our outlaw. No. Mm. Mm. They take the mage. So that's really bad. Tuesdays, they took the mage. Oh, and then they verdict everything else. Well, I carumba. That's probably good game, bro. 
We should have kept the land in hand to discard to dodge the lantern, but there's no coming back from that. He did kind of see um, how that all worked out for us, though. Maybe we should have a star mounts in deck as well. Just to finish the match. Right? Because if we do get Magda's treasures all lit up, it would be cool to just, like, have star mounts ready to rip. I think that's a good play. And then, on that next attack, we could copy star mounts, and that would be ridiculous. Um, you know, this is no attacks. Good game. We did what we can. We got close, and it's all really just depends on those uh, dice roll. Alright, so... <laughs> we are just basically living in Pipe Dream today. But, it's possible. And we do have a perfect turn one, turn two. Looking for the Wild Mage. Ooh. This is going to be a green source. Magda out. Please don't remove my outlaw. Don't you remove my outlaw, bro. If they do, it's all over. There goes the dream. It's a sad world. Rest in peace. And uh, that's kind of how a lot of pipe dreams go. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, not good. Not good. We're just going to draw a card here, I guess. They could fizzle it. They still get the draw, though. Well. We're trying to redeem ourselves anyways. Another outlaw off the top is... You know, as good a chance as we're ever going to get. They learn. Um, you know, and then they have two land out, they gain two life. Interesting. I'm still going to try to go for it, right? You know, the theory's there, in theory it works, and I just want to try to demonstrate it. If we don't get it, you know, it is what it is. It's just like day one when I made the turn two uh, lethal deck. Like, you could try to get it, but I don't know if you will, man. <laughs> and as someone who's making two of these decks a day, there's only so much time to try. It's not like I can sit for 12 hours, try to get that perfect footage for one deck. It's like... No, only six hours. <laughs> no, it's less than that for sure. Like, I don't think anyone's doing this for 12 hours um, just on one build, but... It is time consuming, right? An exaggeration for sure, but uh, we gotta just move on. In theory, it works, and um, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. I'm worried about a field wipe, but it's our only, like, we could just attack and have the outlaw anyways. Yeah. And then we're just keeping that treasure there. Um, you know, that could be really nice for us later on. Don't you counter my wild mage. So. The plot thickens. We have wild shape in hand. We have hexproof. If there's single target removal, that might be our best bet. And then we're just rolling the dice, so to say. <laughs> Quite literally. They're going to have a, a defender out, and I don't know if they might attack with it. They might just turn on the jets. We can potentially protect something from a damage effect as well, but we need the outlaw and mage to survive. Right? So hopefully it's just single target removal. Cute. We can only save one of them. We can replay the mage. 
and try to hit with the Sentinel, but it's that the Magda's dwarf ability that we really, really need. Oh, wait a minute. Cancel. We might... Oh, no, we're tapped. So it doesn't matter. We could become a 1-5 with reach. No, that still won't help. It just doesn't matter. We save the outlaw. It's not great. They removed the sentinel. That's fine. Hit for five. They're totally tapped. Um, we do make a treasure here, which is nice. Uh, we have no protection, and they probably have a ton of removal. Goalie locks. Hit for nine. Three mana available. Leave us alone. Soul Shatter. Heartbreaking. I mean, we could hit for nine. That'll show him. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. You want to mess with me? No, I wish we had double strike. Be a lot cooler if you did, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. I know. I know. Just take your lethal. You don't have to play these cards. Why are you just not attacking? Just attack, bro. Thank you. I try to have people close out their games. It teaches them to be faster, and then that's better for the whole community. Alright, turn three. One turn kill. Uh, absolutely insane. You'll need a little bit of luck for this one. Without a doubt. Um, it's not going to pop every single time, right? It's not like you only need the cards to make it work. You need the cards to make it work. And then you need an additional layer of luck, even when you're doing your best um, to support or mitigate um, the negative uh, variants of that. So deck's very cool. I think it works great. How can we fine tune it? You'll see, uh, and I even mentioned this, the last few videos had uh, run amok um, Titanic growth in play. We changed that up. And I think the changes really supported the deck um, using more haste. So we don't rely on a maxed out barbarian class for the haste and it really opens up that turn three uh variant of it rather than the turn four right um attacking a little bit earlier is great now not only do you pop off earlier but your opponent has less time to interact and to remove that mage right uh, which is pretty cool given that we even have protection we still want to limit that time so let me know what you guys think of the deck did you enjoy the video let me know in the comments below like the video it helps the exposure of my content a ton definitely like my content please 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 <laughs> please sir may i have another like and uh you know definitely check out the link tree link as well become a patreon a youtube member um we're on twitch as well and don't forget to subscribe right because we're giving away a rare playset and up to 500,000 gems as well as uh, you know a lot of other giveaways and stuff all available in the link tree have a magical day you guys i really appreciate it appreciated the time you spent here with me today and we'll see you soon in the next